Hello, hello. All right. I'm here. I'm back. Hope everyone's back. I'm just trying to get everything situated. Oh, no, let's not. Oh, I have the game-changing one, but it doesn't look as good as the other ones do, so I haven't updated it. <laughs> we'll just keep with the short break. All right. So. Planet Zoo. Yes, please. Now you have to just wait for it to function and all that. That's always fun. So we get to look at this dark black screen. I'm trying to get out a new Twitch thing to say what's happening. Hey, we got life. Oh. <laughs> I haven't seen, I haven't seen any of this, so. Oh, it's rolling away. Ooh. All right, I'm trying to finish this. Uh, so just turn that off too. All right. So thank you for joining us. Well, you're welcome. All right, so we have to create an avatar. Is it loud? It's a little loud for me too. Hello. Let's be honest. Um, How does that sound? Better? Uh -huh. Alright, gotta be a tan lady. She's gotta, you know, she's gotta Ooh. semi look like me. Are these faces different at all? Oh, that one looks different. Oh, uh -huh. oh it was just the opening part? Okay. It says that it's about the same as most games are at this point, so. Hmm. Which one of these do I like? Let's go with that one. Try not to take forever to do this. Uh, oh, look, uh, a ponytail. Let's be honest, this, this is more how my hair currently looks. Well, other than not pink. I'm gonna do the ponytail, though. Whoa. Oh, we could put her in glasses. Oh. oh my goodness. I guess let's just go basic. She's gotta have a, a green shirt though. Oh. Uh. Yes, we have to have shorts that look like the shorts I always wear. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this hat. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Okay, but no. Oh. Oh no. I have to restart everything? I didn't know this was a possibility. 
Oh, that's terrifying. Like now I feel the need to re redo it. Mm -hmm. I'm not a teenager, I'm an adult. I can't have the teenager one, even though the teenager one was cooler looking, let's be honest. Oh, but my teenager is so cute. I'll deal. some other outfits though mm. oh I can have boots mm -hmm. oh I have to have the boots is there a better shirt that goes with the boots? I feel like having that is just silly. Since it's... Oh, I'll just stick with this thing, I think. Yeah. All right. Oh. I'm done messing with it, I promise. <laughs> I'm done messing, I promise. Oh, do your HQ? How do I... Do I rotate? Click and... Oh, you can click and drag. Okay, well, obviously... We gotta come over here. Like, situate ourself, like... There. Ish. Oh. Obviously. Got to situ situate ourselves in, like, California-ish area. Okay. So, are you ready to launch your own franchise? Build zoo all over the world? Breed animals? Release them into the wild? And don't forget about your visitors. Obviously, there's no sandbox. I think they were saying there was a scenario... Let's see. Yeah. Obviously the main game will be out on the 5th of November. So after we finish like playing this, obviously we won't be able to actually play it until November. Oh, I like the music from this. Alright, so do we want to try the, because I think they said there was like a base scenario. Yeah, so there's a scenario, or there's like the franchise. Alright, so we got the scenario, which is the stately homeschooling Goodwin house. Oh, look at the like... Stone Tiger. Renovated and renamed after its purchase by Bernard Goodwin in the 1980s, Goodwin's house has since become one of the most respected zoos in the county. Country? Country. My brain is having troubles. More recently, it has undergone a further renovation to update many of the habitats and facilities, but due to various issues, the work has hasn't quite been completed. All right. So I guess what I could do. Here 
Here we go. Sorry about that. I, I, I have a habit of slipping back into the Planko language. <laughs> it's good to finally meet you in person. I'm Bernard. Although I insist you call also, me Bernie. The only a person who calls me Bernard is my wife. <laughs> and even then, only when I've tracked elephant dung into the carpets. <laughs> I like this little know, mud. I own several zoos, <laughs> but I always like to show people the ropes here at my home. This is the first zoo I ever opened, and a source of great pride for me. And prides, thanks to a lion breeding program we ran in the 80s. <laughs> but we're in the middle of a big renovation, and that's where you come in. Sadly, our old contractor had to retire after developing a fur allergy. No. The devil kept sneezing his dentures into the lion habitat. So, it's up to you to finish everything off. Don't worry, though. I'm not completely throwing you into the deep end. My head keeper, Nancy Jones, will be lending <laughs> Nancy <a helping> Jones. <laughs> oh, she's a hard worker. And she'll expect you to be, too. But I'm sure you'll get along like a house on fire, or even better, one that isn't on fire. Less shouting that way. <laughs> Hello there. From that rosy, fresh face of yours, I'm guessing you're Bernie's new hire. Good. Now, I hope you're ready to ditch your diploma, because we're about to get really hands-on. But before we begin the real work, how about we familiarize you with the zoo by learning how to fly around it and visiting some of our beautiful animals? We'll start by popping over and having a look-see at the grizzly bears in their habitat. Hey, how do we move? Okay. So we can like pan. We can rotate. Whoa. So E is to raise it. Q is to lower it. We have to locate the grizzly bear habitat, which obviously is this habitat here. Did you know that grizzly bears, also known as oh, Ursus arctos horribilis, can hibernate for up to seven months a year? Huh? <laughs> oh, but then again, given the chance, I think huh? a lot of people Bear's would do that too. <laughs> Select one of the bears, and you'll bring up its information panel. All right. This is where you can find out all kinds of information about your animal. So I said it has a tutorial in like the main one. Overall welfare. You'll learn more about animal welfare today as we go through your objectives. Okay. But for now, well, let's yeah. Enjoy this you magnificent know. Animal. Why don't you select the camera at the bottom of its information oh, panel? This is a weird. See now, this is a fantastic way to get a close look at your animals. Um, you can also get this view of an animal by simply double clicking on it. Okay, when you're ready, so let's thrilling. pop over to the other side of the zoo and take a look at the lions. I've marked their location for you How to do I find. Leave? Oh, how do I get out of this? Oh god! <laughs> I'm breaking everything! Oh my god. I'm breaking everything. Uh oh, I zoomed too far. Alright. Oh my goodness, this is... Oh no, I've gone too far. The controls are very... strange for someone who's not used to using them. Okay, 
Let's rotate around again. Oh, we've gone so far out. Am I here? Leo, Leo. Or the West African lion to you and me. Lions are the most social of the big cats, and they can be as many as 40 lions in a pride. Although prides of that size are pretty rare. As Bernie would say, is my graphics turn weird or something? Because <laughs> that is precisely why Iger I handle the training crazy. instead these days. Anyway, how about we get started on those objectives? Come on. Hold on. What is it? Oh. Okay. Like what's, what's what's going on here? Is it set to how I had it, or does it not want to be higher? Because if it's basing it off of other stuff, maybe that's the problem. I don't know. Okay, then it looks like that maybe helped a little. Ooh, look at the lion. He's drinking. I feel like I definitely would need to fiddle with the graphics. Um, I don't know if it's just setting it based off of something I used to have. What am I supposed to be doing? I stopped paying attention. Do I have to just... Okay, I have to find the empty lot. Okay. I need to stop hitting E. I'm hoping I'll get better with the movement soon. This As is the you empty can lot. see, it's a lovely space for warthogs, but it's missing a certain something. <laughs> well, two somethings. <laughs> the warthogs. <laughs> so I'd like you to adopt a pair of them. To adopt animals, we need to open the animal market, which is in the animal trading section. Ah, animal trading. Warthogs. There we are, a pair of perfectly splendid warthogs for our zoo. Just click on them and select buy from the side menu. Normally, the animal exchange would be full of animals, but I've emptied out the market while you learn how it works. The last okay. thing I need is you accidentally ordering a dozen elephants. Oh, come on! What if I wanted to order a dozen elephants? Was I supposed to send them to the zoo? When you adopt an animal, it's automatically placed in the trade center where they're held until you're ready to move them into their habitat, which, as it happens, oh, there you we are. go. So, how about you move them into their new home? You come live here. Um, you come live when here. You ask for an animal to be moved into a habitat. Your caretakers will go to the trade center, collect your animal, and deliver them to your selected habitat. Okay. You mark the trade center's location. Well, you can select so all and do watch it the too. caretakers in action. Oh, okay. That's nice. So yeah, they're being relocated over here. Okay, you can kind of like go up and down. We're just waiting for them to show up. So what's happening now? Oh, oh, here comes one. He just threw the box. <laughs> I think my problems I keep hitting like E and Q because I think they're gonna rotate the screen because that's what I'm used to. Oh, look at them run! Oh, they're so cute. Oh, hello, little warthog. Yeah, the ball, the box is like a pokeball. Just 
threw it. Oh, look at our work hogs. Okay, what are we supposed to be doing now? Locate trade center. Over there. Okay. It's over here. I got this, guys. I'm getting better at, at well, moving. As you can see, those caretakers <laughs> don't hang about. They'll move those animals to their destination as fast as possible. Of course, normally we'd have to place the animals into quarantine before moving them into a habitat. But I am assured by a person of good standing that these warthogs are in the very rudest of health. The very rudest right, of health. <laughs> let's get the warthogs' habitat finished up so we can keep them nice and happy. You see, each animal in the zoo has an overall welfare statistic, basically how happy they are. And okay. that overall welfare mm -hmm. statistic is itself comprised of four different areas. Okay. Nutrition, social health, mm -hmm. habitat, and mm -hmm. enrichment. Mm -hmm. Luckily, if you select an animal, you'll very, very animal normal animal tycoon type, type thing. You earlier, where you can see how they're doing. That way, you'll know exactly what areas need to be addressed. Ooh, this is pretty. Worry, that's a lot to remember. You can always Getting check the but that's pretty. Information. Look at the dodo birds. Nice look, dodo birds. Oh, I went through the dodo bird. Oh, dodo bird. Let's start by making sure we're taking care of the We're just going to stare at the dodo bird instead. Welfare. Mm -hmm. To do this, mm -hmm. we need to place a food station and a drinking station. Now, oh, rotating each animal weird. requires a different type of feeding station. And for the warthogs, it's a small feeding trough. <laughs> so let's add one of those and a water bowl. Oh, I like the dodo birds. Okay. So we're supposed to add a feeding station, a water station, and a toy. Into this place. Habitat. A food trough and a water bowl. Large. I guess that's all we currently get. Toggle advanced movement. Oh, you can go real... You can, like, slide it. Okay. So you can, like, make sure it's, like, sitting... It's actually, like, sitting in the ground the way you want it to. Um, you could, like, rotate it, I think. Yeah, it looks like you can have where you could rotate it on the axes. Right, but obviously you can place that down. Okay, and you can also rotate 90 degrees. Cool. So wait. How do I get out of this, please? Thank you. I guess put their like animals also require stimulation to keep them happy. Let's add a lovely mud bath for the warthogs to roll around in. <laughs> that roll bath will count in. towards their enrichment welfare, specifically their toy enrichment welfare. Oh, Ooh, that's cool. Okay. Well, obviously let's do it like over here in the dirt. I'm like get it in the dirt area. Oh, nice work. You've yeah. got a knack for this, I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally. Our contractor had to leave in a hurry, so this place is in a feral state. Unfinished thingamajigs and wotsits all over the shop. But the first thing we need to finish is the ostrich habitat. It's over near the hippos. Okay. Ostriches near hippos. Where is that? Oh, over here. Um, let's rotate ourselves around. And zoom on in. Okay. Job number one here is to add a habitat gate before we complete the barrier. Oh, Every yeah. habitat needs a habitat gate. After all, how okay. else would the keepers get in and out? <laughs> Just make sure it's hooked up to the path so the gate. keepers can reach it. Okay. Right. Okay, Let's go. complete the perimeter barrier so we can adopt us some ostriches. I've marked out an area for you to use, so I'd like you to finish off the perimeter using the brick barrier. Okay. Oh, oh, oh no, what's happening? I'm in the trees. Oh, well, I want it to circle. Is there a train going by? It's getting closer, guys. The train's getting closer. Oh, look at the train go by! Hey! I did it! 
Oh, I like how it's nice and round. Roundness. I weirdly like roundness. Okay, is that all I needed to do? Do I just close this? I did. I built it. So. Uh, did, did, did I not do it? Oh, I didn't do it. Look, it's not connected here. Oh my god, it wasn't connected. Can we? Can we pick this up, please? Can I? Can I? Okay. Oh no. I can't just connect this to this, huh? No? I delete things. Okay. <laughs> Good work. Remember. Before you can place animals in any habitat, it has to have a full loop of connected oh, barrier. Yeah. Now, you've probably noticed that guests can't actually see into this habitat at the moment. <laughs> at least not without a step ladder. Yeah, as no, soon that's as a they're banned, pretty... I'd like you to select a piece of barrier and swap out the brick for a glass barrier so the guests okay. can see in. Can do. Where should I do that, though? Um... Where's a good place to do that? Hmm. I guess over here? There we go. Adding in more windows gives guests even more opportunities to see the animals in a habitat. It's always oh, you best took it to away make sure me. the guests can get a more view into a habitat from the path they're walking on. Because it makes them happy. And because this would be a pretty terrible zoo if they couldn't yeah the last thing we need to do <laughs> is to add a donation box okay you see, when guests enjoy the view of an animal they'll make a donation just make sure you put them in easy to reach places like near a viewing point donation boxes are one of the main sources of income for the zoo so make sure you remember them hey donation boxes are important all right, you finished the habitat, so it's high time we adopted those ostriches, don't you think? Let's get four water of them system? in here. It's like a water system. Oh, look at it go! Alright, so we need to get more animals. Oh, this one's a gold star. What does that mean? What does the quality of them mean? trying to say that, that some of these are better than others how dare you like they all have names deo <laughs> site <Cy -emble. laughs> all right so i can select all and say send them to here While you wait for them to be collected by the caretakers and brought to the habitat you should get it ready for them add okay. a suitable feeding station water station and an appropriate food enrichment item all right it's often best to place things like enrichments and feeding stations near to the habitat perimeter so guests can get a really good I'm assuming these the are animals. what we have there's a slow feeder a water trough and a bowl how, how, how do you know what is good for them is there a way to see Does it tell me? Can I just cheat? No. Oh! <laughs> Holy moly, that was big. Oh, there's more coming. Hold on. Oh, oh! Pokebox! 
go! <laughs> Pokebox, go! Here's the last one. One more Pokebox. That's what we're calling them now. Raphael's idea is hilarious. They're Pokeboxes. <laughs> oh, you're fancy. You must be the male. You're real fancy. Yeah, that must be the male. Oh, he's fancy. Fancy. Look at him. Well, hello, beautiful. Okay. So you guys need... I guess a slow feeder, because that's the only feeder we're given. Um, well, obviously you gotta put, like, the food near a, a like, a viewing area. Oh! <gasps> Should we? Can we? Can we? Um, can we edit the barrier, please? Can we raise the barrier up? How do? We... <laughs> um. Oh no! Nope. <laughs> one by one. <laughs> How do I do this? How do I? Do I need to raise this up? Oh, there we go. Nope, that doesn't let me. Um, how do I? Can I raise it up from here? Oh no, they're just gonna keep escaping. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he immediately runs for the part that he can jump over. Um. How do I get this to let me, like... It won't let me raise it. Um... <laughs> no, I... I want... To raise this. <sighs> no, I don't want to raise my screen. Um, so far, I don't... Alright. <laughs> Their pod button before these guys escape again. Alright. Basic. Not path. Okay, habitat. Barriers. Gate types. Um, adding windows. Adjusting height. It just says you can do it. Um. Yeah, but if I try to go up, it doesn't let me. <laughs> Um, doesn't say... Alright, do I have to... If I do this, will that work? Why won't it give me... Do you think this one would be okay? But it doesn't.
No, it just says you should be able to do that. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> I already broke the game. <laughs> I'm doing great, guys. <laughs> It's okay, I've already broke the game. So this is like to continue on the line. This is to raise it. But it doesn't want to raise it. If I raise this one. Oops. Um, that is not what I wanted to do. Can I? Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> I've already broken. Yeah, I would like to just raise these. Why why you no allow that? I have to raise this then? No. Why won't it let me? Oh, I guess they're just going to escape. That's what's happening right now. All right, cool. <laughs> okay. We're just going to, you know, pause and, and put these in. Got, got our feeder. And we've got a water trot, trout. It didn't have like a... Okay, so the slow feeder is a toy? Good to see the ostriches have somewhere they can really stretch their legs. Did you know they can actually run at 43 miles per hour? Yeah, they can also oh, jump really high. If they ever escape, the speed camera finds alone would bankrupt us. <laughs> well, Bernie certainly seems impressed. Did he do his speed camera joke? That's what I'm thinking. I might have to delete it and recreate it. So, now we've made the ostriches' lives a bit better, <laughs> let's do the same for the keepers, shall we? To make it easier for the keepers to feed the ostriches and hippos, we should build a new keeper hut. All right. Keeper huts are where the keepers prepare the food for animals, so they should be placed near to the habitats to make sure the keepers don't waste their time walking when they should be looking after the animals. Oh, it won't let me. I would like to I would like to delete no it's not letting me do I have to Send a storage. Oh, I think there's one still wandering about. Um, yeah, I think there's still one loose somewhere. I don't know where, though. Where would it have gone? Um. <laughs> oh, there it is. 
Um, yeah. Can we I guess spend the money on that? Uh, Alright, so we have to wait for them to move it, I guess. Whoa. Wait for him to put it in there. Hello, Newsome. Cool. Please send back to storage. All right. It's an empty habitat. Will it now let me? Okay, no, no. Okay. Can I now delete it? What if I cliff click that? No. I did. I did go for the, the deluxe version. I have a problem. Uh <laughs> Ooh, there's a link. Can I? What is that? Doesn't do anything. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> it's a good problem to have. That's good. I just love these games too much that I can't. I can't help myself. Wait. What if I turn that off? No. Oh. I've already broke it, I'll be honest. Um, you know, that was... I have no idea if they have meerkats yet or not. Um, they've only shown a couple of the things. They haven't shown all of them yet. Um... Okay, this is all about terrain. It's all about currency. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Um, habitat. Where's like the... Barrier controls increase length. Decrease length. Yeah, it says that you should just be able to do it. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad I'm encountering this problem. And why can't I just delete this? Like, is there just like a... Oh no, I'm definitely giving the animals the best life. <laughs> I like to make sure that they're like really good. Is there just like a delete button? I can't seem to just delete this. I'm having all the problems. I'm having all the problems, guys. This is weird. I've already broke it. 
Like, how do I reopen up that control thing? Pause. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm for sure testing the game. That's for sure. <laughs> okay. Like, here's like path controls, but where's the gate controls? Or barrier? No. No. <laughs> Settings. It says I should just be able to put it up or down, but it's obviously not actually working right. We've hit we've hit the the minor issue. Maybe we'll just keep them put away. We'll just, we'll just sit them back over there. All right. What do you want me to do again? Ah, build a keeper's hut. All right. Um. Ooh, there's multiple keepers huts. Oh, that's big. That's big too. You'll need to rotate the keeper hut to get it to connect up to the path. Guessing we need to use this one. Someone's. Like, how do I? So, hey, hey, there we go. Oh, you can make it go up. Okay. Does it matter which one we use? I'm guessing they want us to use this one. <clears throat> Why is it? Oops. So we rotate it like this way? Why is it not? At one point I got it to like, see itself. Why can't I get it to see itself? Anymore? Oh. Hey, there we go. Um. Okay, so Okay, fine. All right. Um Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to rotate this, I guess. How the All these are so big. How do you get the Yeah, I'm pretty sure this game is going to be, like, really popular. People really love the the Planet Coaster. And I'm sure not everyone is failing at um, functioning like I am. Uh. <laughs> okay, so what if I do it like that?
Okay. Good. I don't need to be tough on myself. I'm I'm not a complete failure at this. Is what you're saying? Because it says it needs to be in here. It finally worked. Only has space for one keeper, but the larger keeper hut can allow multiple keepers to prepare food at the same time. Oh, but bear in mind that keeper huts and other staff facilities shouldn't be placed near to areas where there are lots of guests. Okay. Guests don't like seeing facility buildings, and it can affect their happiness negatively. <laughs> In case that wasn't clear. Oh my Something goodness. that all facilities, shops, and a whole host of other objects need is power. And that obviously includes your newly built keeper hat. <sighs> so let's place a transformer next to it, shall we? <laughs> what is this a problem? Now, the reason everything has gone blue is because you're using the power heat map. This map allows you to see what is and what isn't powered in your zoo. So once you've placed your transformer, you can click in the bottom left to turn the heat map off. Lovely work. There we go. Now the keepers can start using the hut to prepare food. And thanks to where you put it, they won't need to walk very far to deliver it to the ostriches and hippos. Okay. Let's get on to your next objective then. Yeah, we're just going to pretend that didn't happen over there. We want to adopt some, but I'm afraid there's nothing ready for them yet. Head Ooh, tigers. The I've marked out. It's not yes, too far away. please. All right. Okay, over here. <laughs> yeah, nothing happened over there. Habitat. Nothing, nothing happened at all. Grand wood and concrete, I expect. <laughs> so go ahead and build it, and don't forget the habitat gate. It's always best to place the habitat gate close to the keeper hut. As it happens, there's one quite near to the trade center. Is there? Where, where's this keeper hut? Oh, and make sure the guests will be able to see the tigers. Is that? Is this the facility? That facilities. Where's this keeper hut? Is it? Are they just talking about? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Those are keeper huts right there. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. Um. All right. So we're given concrete. It looks like. Okay, so I can just immediately, like here, and raise this up. There we go. Hopefully these are going to be a lot higher now. It won't be an issue, hopefully. Okay. Come all the way around. Probably don't want that rock in there. Okay, that seems pretty high. Make, like, this area glass. Um, maybe like over here too. All right, there we go.
There, it kind of lines up with that. Bernie takes safety very seriously at his zoos, so we should probably make sure those tigers can't jump out of their habitat, don't you think? <laughs> the way we'll do it <laughs> is by changing the height of the habitat barrier. Okay, then. How would they you ever jump out of their habitat? The habitat barrier, which will take <laughs> you into barrier editing mode. <laughs> Great. Now highlight the entire perimeter of the habitat. You can do that by clicking and dragging the barrier selection tool. Now you've got all of the uh -oh. perimeter selected, you can increase the height of it by clicking and dragging the barrier height tool upwards. Uh, we want to make sure it reaches a minimum height of four meters. I don't know how that disappeared. All right. I guess I have to click on a... Oh, see, now it's just going. Now it's no problem. So how high should I... Did she say how high? Ah, where? It's not telling me how high it is anymore. Um, why is it... Why is it not telling me anymore? Did I accidentally turn it off? Hey, there we go. Okay, there we go. Okay. Wow, that has to be really high. Okay. Yeah, it might have been they locked it. Um, okay. It's one of those where I kind of wish they had told me sooner that we needed to make the whole thing for. I've seen a tiger jump before at the zoo. It can jump really high. Plus, was there a way to do all of this at once that I just completely missed? Oh, okay. I missed that. Thank you. I was blind. I missed that. Wee. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Cool. Sometimes the thing disappears and I can't see it. Okay, I think it's just one more time? Yeah. Alright. Uh-oh. Um, maybe selected too much. Okay, that exactly did not work how I wanted it to. Um, uh, maybe? No, it says it only does to two. I'm sure there's probably a smarter way to do this. Uh. All right. 
These walls are very high, though. There we go. Is that not... Oh, wait, you can just set a boundary? Wait. Oop. Hold on. Am I dumb? Oh. Oh, weird. Okay. What does it mean, set a boundary? Yeah, I made the length four. Now, Bernie takes safety very seriously at his zoos, so we should probably make sure those tigers can't There's something jump out we of missed. their habitat, don't you think? The way we'll do it is by changing the height of the habitat's barrier. Okay. Okay, then. You should start by double-clicking the habitat barrier, which will take you into barrier editing mode. Great. Now, highlight the entire perimeter of the habitat. You can do that by clicking and dragging the barrier selection tool. Now you've got all of the perimeter selected, you can increase the height of it by clicking and dragging the barrier height tool upwards. You'll want to make sure it reaches a minimum height of 4 meters. So what I have to do... Maybe it wanted me to select the whole thing and because I could I didn't figure that out right away. Supposedly there was a button to just select it all. But I do not see that button. I'm already failing horribly at this. Cool. I'm 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 glad that I I already seem like a hilarious um bad person to <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Does that count? It's all over four. Is it not? Four. Why can I not get it to go up anymore? What the... <laughs> There's an anger I'm starting to feel. Is it like shift click maybe? I'm already at the point of wanting to restart this to see if maybe I just one misclick and I've just lost everything that I was doing. God damn. <laughs> nope, it just 
wants me to click this. <sighs> okay. There has to be a quicker way to select all of this, I would assume. Oh! I always love those moments when... Why won't you... What? 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 What just happened? The anger I feel. Alright, can we just... Why... Why won't you... It now won't go up. It's making the noises, but it's not. whole failure is just going lovely. Why is it only doing two that far now? Okay, so this length is the length that it will go this way. Oh, well. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I think I know what they wanted us to do. We're living in the trees. It's okay, we'll fix it. I wonder if what they meant was they meant take it and no, I can't height, height snap higher than two. Okay, well, let's highlight it all. It won't let me. The snap is at... Hey, okay, there we go. Okay, that's the house okay. boundary complete. I figured it out. Gates in place, and most importantly, the tigers won't be able to jump out of it anymore. 
I think it's time we adopted those tigers. I'm not sure how I broke it, but I fixed it. <laughs> that means I could go fix that one as well. <gasps> oh, what a day. Okay. So, tigers. Yes, please. And yes, please. Wow, look how wide these things are. Alright, then obviously we want you to be sent here. And you. Be sent Whilst here. our trusty caretakers collect and deliver the tigers, let's take a look at preparing the habitat for their arrival. We'll start with the basics. Add a suitable feeding station for them. Can we fix this now, then? No. Oh, okay. You have to physically... No, it still won't let me fix this one. Huh. For some reason, I'm still just not allowed to fix that one. Okay. We'll go with it. Tigers! Um, here's some food. Um... <laughs> the poor ostriches are just out of luck, I guess. This time, instead of adding a water bowl, let's try something different. Ooh. Some animals need a pool in their habitat. So oh, is that what this is going to be? They can also use it to drink from. That's what this All you be. have to do is make Oh no, those poor ostriches lost their freedom. It's okay. So I'll just let them go again nice if you want. <laughs> There's already a pool excavated, but you still need to fill it with water. You okay. can do that by going into terrain and selecting the water tool. All right, water. Rough water. Uh, I think we want calm water. How do I increase the radius? Apply the brush. Convert the brush. And pay more attention to the tools. Yes, that'll do. There we nicely. go. That was of weird. Course, just like the warthogs and ostriches, these tigers will also need some enrichment. Why don't you add some suitable toy and food oh, enrichment items water. into their habitat? Okay. Oh my god, frozen blood pumpkin. <laughs> we have rubbing pads. Well, obviously the frozen blood pumpkin needs to be like over here. Oh no, not on the wall. We do not want it on the wall. That is not what we're looking to do. Uh, but yeah, it needs to be like right here. Because we also need to remember to... Oh, nope, it's gone. No windows are allowed now. They, they took the windows away. We'll have... I guess a rubbing pad? Okay, it's really starting to take shape. Now, the tigers oh, will need a shelter in their habitat so they can hide from the guests, or more likely the bad weather. Although, given that we're in England, you might want to. Hurry, right, Raphael, have a good day. Weather. I know this has been fun so far. Their habitat. You can either build one from various suitable bits and bobs, or if you like, just pop down the blueprint that I've already built for you. Okay. Shelters. 
food and water shelter. Whoa, big shelter. Maybe over there is not the place to put it. Oh, poor Dabs. I'm sure it can't have escaped your attention that the tigers look a bit miffed. Oh. That's because they aren't too keen on the type of terrain in their habitat. So oh, we gotta change tiger, that. You bring up its information panel. Okay. Tiger. Rightio. Click on the what terrain like? tab. That way you can view the terrain information and see how they feel about the different types of terrain. Oh, they don't that like long grass. What the tigers need more of or less of in this habitat. Needs less. Um, needs less. Okay then. Needs Open more the soil. Open the editing tool. Select painting and okay. give them some more soil. Yes, soil. that should help with the habitat part of their welfare. Soil heavy. Oh, this is a little big, don't you think? They also like long grass. Oh no, less long grass? Needs more short grass. Um, let's do more soil. Right then. All animals need plants and trees from their own biome or continent. You know, deserts, savannas, or Asia, Europe, that sort of thing. Yeah. It looks like these tigers need a few more plants in their habitat. To get a perfect fit, use plants from the rainforest and temperate biomes that are native to Asia. Although if you have to, you can get away with using just one or the other. The tigers will also want a certain amount of their habitat to be covered by those plants. To find out which plants to use and how many, select a tiger and go to the environment tab. We gotta give them more soil. There we go. That's a little bit better. We'll give them a little bit more rock too. Have that rock, man. Enjoy that rock. There we go. That's more like in the middle of all of them now. There we go. Okay. Now, as you can see, some of the plants currently in the habitat aren't quite right for the tiger, like the wattle bushes. You can remove them if you want. Okay. You can find all of the plants you need in the nature section, and you can use the filters to only show the types of plants you want to see. In this case, that's plants from the rainforest or temperate biomes. Alright. So we want temperate. So you don't like what was it? You are not into. Pretty much all of these. Okay, well let's get rid of these plants then. I think that was all the plants. Right? No more plants? Awesome. Alright, so yeah, they like temperate... Like these? Get some cool acacias. Or sai, I mean. What do you want to call them? Compatible. Okay. They're not okay with that. They did like these. Let's 
satellite coverage. Got this. These are good. They didn't like any of these trees. Do they like birches? No, they do not like birches. Then do that. I don't want no birch. What do we got from the grasslands? Is there a way to like, do they tell you? Classic. Continent, Asia. Okay, so we want Asia, we want tropical, temperate, and grasslands? Is that gonna help a little bit more? Oh! Oh, I remember the, these trees. You guys love these trees. I remember these trees. That's a coconut palms. They do. They like coconut palms. The excitement is real right now. <laughs> the excitement has the become real, real. Good neighbors. <laughs> I guess that's doubly true when one of the neighbors is a Bengal tiger. <laughs> Still. Those tigers look so happy that I doubt they'd leave. Even if you did poke a hole in their fence. <laughs> oh, but for heaven's sake, don't test that theory. Are you saying you want me to poke a hole in the fence? Right. Let's head over to the Indian peafowls. <laughs> I've been told that we need to improve okay. their social welfare. All right. you give me any barriers? No? Well, no one can see into these, guys. Oh, look at him! Oh, he's so happy! Mom, Dad. His habitat is almost perfect. I think he could use more stuff, though. I wish it would let me add more. But no, don't, don't, not allowed anymore. Yeah, can we reset these, please? Thank you. Alright, so let's find this new area that we're supposed to be messing with. Over here, it looks like. Ooh, there's like a maze here. Wait, what? <gasps> Ooh! Look at the pea fowl. Now then. Just find one of the pea fowls and select them to open an information panel. Then we can okay. have a good gander at how they're doing. Yeah. Although technically, I suppose gandering would just be for geese. <laughs> All right. So we can expand it. Expand their social oh, yeah. welfare and we can get a bit more detail. Look at those peacocks. Look at those peacocks. Uh, now, they've clearly got plenty of space and they're not stressed, but it looks like their social group isn't quite right. So let's find out more. Click on the social tab at the top of their information panel to see what's wrong. Look at that peacock. Okay, can we talk about how at the San Diego Zoo, these dudes just wander around free? They're not in a cage. The peacocks are all over the place. They're like, you'll come into... The, like, you go to the San Diego Zoo, and if you look at the very front... Up in the trees in like the evening time, you will find peacocks just chilling in the trees. It's crazy. It's it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> Alright, so they want us to get some more. Animals. No? Didn't they want me to help them? Yeah, it wants me to adopt three new ones.
Oh, oh no, those are the ostriches. Right, as you oh, okay. can see, the peafowls need their population to be larger. To solve this little problem, you'll need to adopt three more female Tutorials are bad for me because my brain well, likes to jump around a lot. <laughs> Alright, so now we need to go to the animal market. So they need at least, like, two to three more, it looks like. Hey! Alright, so we got a bunch of females. What was... Oh, is it tiny? Oh, it's a tiny one. Um... Can we deselect you guys? Oops, but select you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send a zoo. Good work free. on those pea fowls. I expect they'll be delivered soon. But sadly, it sounds like our snow leopard is a bit grumpy. Let's oh, head but... over there and see what's wrong with her. But I want to watch... We're going to watch this first. That snow leopard can wait. We're going to enjoy that while we can. Unless they're gonna take forever. Are they gonna take forever? I really want to see this. I like how there's just dodos everywhere. Like, look at this watering feature. Look at all the dodos in the watering feature and above, like, all the things. I love it. There's just dodos everywhere. Oh, here we come. Awesome. Okay. I guess now we should pay attention to what we're actually supposed to be doing. Oh, it's all the way over there. Okay. Let us zoom on in. <gasps> Just like people, animals can suffer from stress <gasps> uh... if things aren't quite right. You know, like when you see someone put in the milk before the tea bag. In the case of these snow leopards, they're a bit stressed by their lack of privacy. You can lower their stress levels by swapping out the normal glass barriers for one-way glass. It's not a cheap option, but I think they're worth the expense, don't you? Oh, this yeah. You don't want to have when they want to get away from two-way glass. The that's, that's silly. Yeah, you wouldn't want to have two-way glass, because that's just going to make the animals really frustrated in most cases. Oh, especially because this whole thing is, is glass. Oh, oh, geez. Bring me back up. Oh. My goodness, if you hit these buttons, it really takes you. Oh. <laughs> Done it again, guys. Done it again. Okay. What's happening? Whole world's going goodbye. <laughs> Alright. Alright. So, we're going to want to... Of course, when an animal isn't in its natural biome, it's probably going to be too hot or too cold. Unsurprisingly for the snow leopards, it's, it's too hot. Even with the terrible British weather, you should help oh, okay. cool it down by like adding some on it coolers like to their here. habitat. But let's start and by opening up the temperature Oops. heat map and having a look-see at the temperature oh. in the leopard's habitat. Does that mean I can now cheatily come back over to this one and head? No, we won't. We'll just keep doing what we're doing. Okay, so that should now be. 
What do you mean, fine? Um, so they don't like the heat? Okay, so we need to add coolers. Yeah, because they like winter. They're winter animals. Okay. okay. Um, why is this thing breaking? Thank you. Yeah, hi. How do we... Habitat? Ah, coolers. So the darker orange is like the darker areas. So. Okay, so that's doing like over there. It's doing like over here. You can find heat maps for all sorts of helpful things. So do be sure to explore them and make good use of them. Okay. It'll take a little while for the temperature to adjust once you've added coolers or heaters. Okay. But now we've got the coolers in, we can address the leopards' terrain welfare. You see, what the leopards really want in here is snow and rock, so let's make that happen. Whee! No. Right, what is that looking like now? Let me click on you. Why is this like see-through now? What have I done? I've like broken something. Uh, what if I click on the other one? Where did the other one go? I just slowly keep breaking it more and more. Um, okay, well, they wanted snow and rock. We can do that. Like, that's some, like, rough rock, I guess? of that should give you a pretty good understanding of how to make animals happy. So I'd like you to go and check on all the other animals in the zoo and fix up any issues with their habitats. Okay. That'll increase the average welfare of the animals across the whole zoo. And Does that, that mean I can fix <laughs> welfare is a very important statistic. Now, to quickly see how all your animals are doing in <laughs> yeah, the zoo, I'm supposed to break it into zoo accidentally. And then into the animals section. All right. Oh, what animals are close to death? Oh, they're starving! Like, does that work? This exhibit is like the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Um, so. As you can see, this list shows you the animal's <laughs> overall welfare. So, if something's amiss, then you can quickly pop over to them using the locate button. Right, I'm off for a cuppa while you make sure all the animals are well looked after. When I broke. I broke the thing, though. 
I don't know how I broke it, but I broke it. Um. Hopefully this will do okay. Um... Like, I was hoping maybe I could... Nope, it's still broken. <laughs> We're doing good. We're doing real good, guys. Alright, are they better? Like, we put food in there. Yeah, it looks like they had two things of... Um, okay, well what if we... What if we go back to the main menu? Maybe we can unbreak what we broke. And resume, I guess. Maybe that will fix it. of that should give you a pretty good understanding of how to make animals happy all right so i'd like you to okay, go and yeah. check on all the mm -hmm. other animals yeah, in the uh -huh. zoo and fix up any issues uh -huh. with their habitats that'll increase the okay. average welfare of the animals across the whole zoo and that hey look we did it is a very important statistic now to quickly see how all your animals are doing in the zoo you should need go more zoo soil and then into the animals section I also want more rock. There we go. Awesome. That's better. There's too much stuff they're saying. Okay. Uh, so let's leave this. Um. So what? I can only. 
as one big thing I can get rid of it. Not as anything. Okay, just some papers left in here, I guess. Um, all right, what next? A Richmond. All right. I guess toys? What in the world would, is it more sprinklers? Oh, food enrichments. Oh, you just want more food enrichments. more like that I guess there we go all right so enrichment yeah we want food maybe a forage box that sounds like something they would enjoy doesn't it Okay, there we go. Can I, can I? Species, not warhog. I would like to do species. Look at all the species. All right, okay, yeah, so the forge box works. Cleanliness. Oh, no shelter. Is it like a small shelter? That one just seems really large. that better hey look at that a hundred percent awesome who else who else As needs you can our see, help this list shows you the animals overall welfare so if something's amiss then you can quickly pop welfare. over to them using the locate button right I'm off oh, for a yes. cafe while you make sure all yes the her ostriches well <laughs> I need to fix the ostrich thing <laughs> All right, I want I think 2 is probably high enough hopefully. What is happening? Oh, they're angry about these dudes. <laughs> So they were upset because of this whole thing. Well. Here, please be delivered.
they're not here yet, so we have to wait for them to get here. Because they're like our worst ones currently. It's these poor guys. Alright, what do you feel? Nourish. Um, you would like more grass. You want more short grass, actually. Okay. Can I trade out some of this grass? For the right type of grass. You also want more rocks, so let's get you some more rocks. Hey, there we go. Social enrichment. Well, you guys should have food and such in here, don't you? Okay. So habitat enrichment. Boys, if we get another one of these. So let's get him a couple of these then. There we go, 100% enrichment. Can you please come and do this? Also, now we could put, um, there you go, you can see in a little bit. Are they getting better? Like the food and water is here, so I hope so. I guess you can't just keep them inside the things. They they don't like that. For some odd reason, you don't feed them when they're crated. <laughs> At least in the beta, I guess you don't. They don't get fed. All right. So who else is having problems? Okay, it's just you. Well, eat some food. Okay, so it's just these guys need to feed. Alright, what do they need? Um, they need more- they need better terrain. 
need way less grass and more soil. Okay. Let's just, you know. Get rid of all this soil. Get rid of all this soil. We, we don't, we don't want no grass here. Only soil. You need a little bit more rock, though. There we go. Cleanliness. Um, environment. Food enrichment they need. Okay. Habitat. Um, species. What are these called again? Ah, the red tail lemurs. Ring tail lemur. They want a food enrichment. Ow, this thing's- oh no. I don't want to do that up there. Um, alright, let's rotate. There. Why do these guys keep getting, um... Alright, so that's... So we need to find the foxtail palms. What the? I don't understand what's happening here. That better. So we are looking to do Africa, but we want it to be tropical. some more. Oh, we can do some tiny ones, too. Oh. I did not want that, like, up in the thing. <laughs> Those trees are huge! Look at these palms! Okay. 
that better? All right, can we just lift all these guys and send them here? Let's do it. Let's send them all over here. Oh, look at them. Look at them foraging. And playing with the sprinklers. Oh, I love lemurs. Lemurs are adorable. This is everything I could have ever wanted. It's so cute. I could spend hours just watching this. That's part of my problem, though. I could just happily watch this. Wow, look at him jump! Oh! Ooh. Oh, we've got some more pokey boxes. <laughs> it's like, surprise! It's a lemur! Surprise! It's more lemurs! What do you mean? Is this the... It says it's clean. Okay, how is this now? Um, looks like our hippopotamus hippopotamuses are not doing very good. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. A hippopotamus I really want. Hi. Hi. I would never want to be near you in real life. You're terrifying. Oh god, I've broken it again. Oh god, I broke it. Okay, it's okay. I hit the wrong button and everything went crazy, but it's okay. I'm still getting used to the controls, I'm sorry. Alright, so what is wrong? There's too few adults in this group. Which is weird because I'm pretty sure most of all the times I see I only have like a couple. So we got one male, one female. They don't have a shelter. That's not very good. Great. Well, how many do you like to have? So, like, maybe one more would do? Animal trading. Pet market. Okay, I guess you can't get any more... Peoples. Okay, fine. Alright. So you won't get the social that you want. I'm sorry. But we can get you... Some food enrichment. That we can do. Species. Hippopotamus. Oh, are these like barrel things? Oh, fun. Oh, ooh, here. Have one of these. Oh, it looks like you already have one. So you want two? Actually, no, let's give you one of these ones. These ones are fun. But I don't know what to do about the social, unless you have a baby. Have a baby, then. 
Oh, he's pooping. Or she's pooping. She's pooping, guys. But otherwise, you like it? You're good? More rock. I can do that. I can give you more rock. In exchange for this grass. Try to take out some of this grass for more rock. There you go. Oh, there's no shelter either. Well, we can fix that too. We have shelter. Good. There we go. Where could I put this shelter, though? There you go. It's, like, slightly hidden. Have, have some bedding? Is that better? Is that not considered right? It's a shelter. Oh, it says it's right for... Okay. Maybe it just hasn't realized it has it now. Uh-oh. How did he escape? Not that? No. Ah, oh, there we go. I think it's fair to say that you've passed the first part of your training with flying fellas. There's hey. still lots more to learn, but we'll have to head to another one of Bernie's zoos for that. If you okay. want to grab your passport, we'll head off, shall we? All right. So that was like the um the main first scenario. I guess it's like the tutorial scenario. It was lots of fun. Um I was really bad at first, but I, I feel like I, I I'm getting the hang of it. That's always good. Um Yeah, so we did that. Obviously the rest of them aren't out yet. Oh, All right, but it has been four hours. It is almost two o'clock. I kind of had a quick snag in between because uh, I did start streaming later than normal today. So we did end up streaming an extra hour, but it was really fun and I was, I'm definitely enjoying this. I can't wait for this to go live. It will be on November 5th. It's great. I really love it so far. It's definitely what I've been wanting real bad. I'm so excited. I like my legs are just shaking because I'm so excited. <laughs> you know when you got like the you feel like you should just jump around? That's how I feel right now. I'm excited. And the music's really nice. Well, thank you everyone for watching. Um the scenario was fun. Um I failed really badly at it. It's probably a big old laugh for everybody. But yeah. Um tomorrow I'll see if I don't know. I'm not sure what we'll be end up doing tomorrow. Um, I'll, I'll try to figure out if there's any more to this that you can be you can do. Um, but I definitely might just mess around with it on my own time too. <laughs> but yeah, so we might play more of this tomorrow or try something different because obviously I still haven't actually played through. Um, the Jurassic World evolutions. I want to play through that. And it'd be cool to get back into playing Planet Coaster 2 a little bit. 
because that'd be really fun. But I will see if I can get into anything else or not. I kind of read up on what was in the beta, but obviously there's a lot of bugs. As you could see, I had some issues. Um, <laughs> I accidentally broke all of the informational panels and I had to restart it. Um, but it was a lot of fun. So thank you, everyone. Thank you for the follows and the hosts. We will be back tomorrow, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So whatever that might be for you guys. Well, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!